Hello and welcome to Charger Games. My name is Raja and this is another Unity C Sharp tutorial. So in this video we're gonna learn about arrays. Arrays are mostly similar to a variable but uh, a little bit different than that. So when we were creating variables what we were doing is was we were actually we were actually storing a value in a particular place in memory and we were giving a name to that place so that we can actually access that value by that name as an example uh, maybe we can create a maybe we can create a variable of integer and name it a and store a value 5 inside it now the problem is if i want to store a lot of values together suppose i want to store the roll numbers of all of all the students in, the, in any school or in any particular class what I have to do is I may have to create hundred different variables to store all the roll numbers so instead of doing that we can use arrays to do that in a more simple way so inside array we can store a bunch of values together with the same name Okay, so with the same name, we can store a bunch of values together, but the one condition that needs to be satisfied is that all the values needs to be of same data type. So as an example, if I create an array of integer, I can store only 5, 6, 7, 8, things like this inside it. I cannot store strings like Raja or anything inside that. And if I create an array of strings, then inside that I can store only names, not those integers. And as in similar way, if I create an array of game objects, game objects are most fundamental things in Unity, I can store only game objects inside that, not integers, not floats, not cares or strings. Okay, so let's take a look at the syntax of creating an array. So in order to create an array, first of all, you have to write the data type uh, which the array going to hold. Since I'm going to make an array of integers, so first of all, I write int, and then I have to write a pair of square brackets so these square brackets uh, indicates that I'm creating an array and then I have to give it a name let's name it ARR that's short form of array and then I now remember there are various ways to create an array okay so I'm gonna show all of them one by one so first of all a very simple way to create an array is to after writing the name and declaring the type we write an equal sign and then within the curly braces we write the values that we want to store inside this array suppose I want to store values like 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 these values inside this okay so now we have an array named ARR and inside that we have all these values now the question you may ask is in case of variable we could access the value by the name but here we have only one name then how can we access all these values so the solution to that is in case of array we have a concept called indexes so we have an index number for all these values that we have stored inside this array now these index numbers start with zero so the first value is at the zeroth index number the second value is as the one index number the uh, third value is the is at the second index number and so on so if we want to access this which is at the zeroth location uh, let's we can access it by liking or the name of the array then within square brackets you have to write the index number what we want to access so if we write zero so that means we want to access the very first value since the index number starts with zero so if we write array zero it will return us the value of the zero position that is zero so let's go and debug log it and see if it's right or not so if we go and debug log it what is happening here i don't have any idea Okay, it's actually importing the scripts. Come on, why you shouldn't take so much time to import scripts? Okay, I think it's done. 
or maybe not yet. So let's open up the console and let's see what is happening here. So I'm opening the console and let's clear it. Now if I run this, now if I run this, you guys can see the value 0 gets printed here. Since we have debug logged the value at index 0, so the 0th value is printed here. So if I clear it now and if I now write the value 5, so let's see what is the value of the 5. So if I go and run it right now, you guys can see the value of 5 is 5. So let's see what is happening. So the value 5 basically means here we can see the first index starts at 0. Then 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So at the 5, at the at the index 5 we have the value 5 that is why it is printing 5 now we could have given any other value suppose we uh, we, could, we have given the value 8 so that means now in the fifth location we have the value 8 so now if I run it the value 8 gets printed if you run it now as you can see now the value 8 gets printed okay so this is how we access the values inside arrays now this is one way to creating an array. There are other ways to create an array. So suppose uh, here I just want to declare the array and I want to create it later. Okay. So I have just declared that I have an array uh, of integer and I haven't declared the size of it. So inside start, so inside start, what I can do is I can write array equals new integer array of size 5 so this is how we create an array of this is how we create a new array of integer of size 5 okay so now how do we put the values inside this we can now put values inside this array by writing the name of the array and then writing the index and then within that we can put value suppose we put 5 and then with the one value we can write six six or whatever so this is how we write values okay so this is how we can also give values to these arrays now another way to create an array is that if I make this thing public uh, okay first of all let, uh, let me show you what happens if it is not public so let me cross it here so as you can see here is the game object and here is the test script so right now we can't see anything so if I make it public if I make the array public now you will see that we have got now you'll see that we have got this little array here okay so public means everyone can access it public means everyone can access it so that is why we can change the value of the array or add values on the array not from the scripts but directly from the inspector so since we have made it public so now we can access this array from here so if I just click on this triangle here as you can see it gets expanded and here we can see the size the size set to 6 since uh, the last time we created the value 6 so if I make the size 0 and press enter as you can see now the size is 0 there are no elements and if I make the size 2 so now as you can see we have two elements element with index 0 and element with index 1 now we can put values directly from here I don't need to go to the scripts I can put values inside the array directly from here so let's say in the first element I'm gonna put the value 5 and in the second element I'm gonna put the value 6 so let's see if it works or not so now let's go and try to print the value array 0 Oops. And let's see, it works or not. So if I go and run it right now, as you can see, it says 5, which is the value that you have given here. So this is another way we can access the array. Okay. So we have learned 
three different ways how we can access an array how we can put values inside an array and how we can access an array now the last uh, the last option that I just show you showed to you it's uh, really very very handy and it becomes really useful sometimes because a lot of times you may want to give size zero and put the values from here instead of uh, accessing them directly from the scripts so this is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and learned something thank you very 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 much for watching and have a great day